Hey everybody, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. And uh, let's go ahead and keep working on this altered book junk journal. Uh, as you can see, since the last time we um, saw this, uh, I've gone ahead and finished adding the background papers to the pages. So these are the front pages. I meant to make this a pocket, but was in autopilot and glued the whole thing down. <laughs> so probably have to figure out something else to do on this page. Um, but yeah, so I haven't glued uh, the pockets down yet, but all the papers, uh, except for this, which will uh, decorate that, but um, all the papers are all glued down and ready for the pockets to be glued. So I think we stopped here last time. So I'll quickly do a little flip through of where we're at so far. Um, we got some pockets on that page, another pocket there. Um, yep, that was it. Um, another here. Uh, I made sure to use every page of the scrapbook paper that I pulled out, except for this one. Um, because I was kind of just kept looking at this and thinking, well, these would make really good little pieces of ephemera. So um, I think I'll cut that all apart and um, incorporate them as ephemera however I can. Uh, this page was kind of fun to put together. I tried to do my best to match up the pattern as well as I could. Um, I didn't have much, I didn't have much left of, um, that, and actually I screwed it up. Uh, so, but you could, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know it unless I just told you that. Um, but there's that page, got a nice page here. So for these pages, I think I'll leave these for writing, but we can add things to this page, like maybe an ephemera piece that, um, it becomes a tuck spot or something like that. Uh, another double pocket page here, another full spread. So both of these, pretty hard to write on this. I guess you could with a black pen, um, but this, it would be hard to read. So we'll, we'll have to come up with something to decorate with uh, that page with. But this one you can definitely write on easily. So there's a good mixture of um, background pages that you can just write directly on and those that you can't and so like I'll do some kind of something on this this side of it but I'm not gonna decorate every single surface essentially is what I'm <laughs> trying to say um, this was one piece that was left over from the beginning of the um, book here um, and so I decided uh, I had some other little pieces left so um, I went ahead and this this is literally like maybe that tall uh, and this one's maybe even a little shorter. <laughs> so I just went ahead and turned these two into big pockets there. Uh, and then here's the last page. So I may or may not do a bunch of decorating on these pages, but I think they're nice um, intro and exits for the journal. And as you can see, there's like this main theme. This color is a main theme uh, throughout the whole journal where it's very neutral. I want to keep it that way. I, I really don't want to introduce color much at all, really. Um, there, If you remember, there were a couple, yes, there were two pages, especially this one, where I wanted to glue this down, obviously, but then um, I want to probably add some washi tape here. And I mentioned using some fabric washi tape from Tim Holtz. This is one that I had in mind. Um, and it would be perfect except for there's a lot of red in this. And I, I after kind of looking at it, I mean, it, it looks fine. I'm sure on the, on the video, it looks great. Um, but personally in person here, I'm not really wanting to introduce that color. So I went back and found a few other, um, potential washi tapes. Uh, these, this, let's see, what is this? What is the name of this? French. And then this one's Collector. I was thinking probably this one or that one. Um, but these are pretty neutral or even this one. I don't know that I've ever used this washi tape, to be honest with you. Uh, but anyway, so we'll we'll do that at, um, after I finish gluing all these pages down. So, okay. 
let's go ahead and um, glue our pockets down. Um, and I'm going to actually start from the back. Um, I've found that that gives me a, it gives me a better result uh, when I start from the back. And so for a page like this, I'm not going to put glue here. I'm only going to put glue there and on the bottom. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and then this is very important when you're doing yours, and I mentioned this in the last video, close the book to seal your pocket down. Okay. If you don't do it that way, it's going to be a problem. Um, you're going to have all kinds of puckering and warping and it'll be a situation. So, um, oh, the other thing I didn't mention, uh, after I, I, I didn't get too far f more. I think I got to about maybe, no, I got to about maybe like this page when I was getting tired. Yeah. I've, I finished this page and then I had the rest of it to do um, this morning. Um, when I left it last time, I closed the book completely and weighted it down with a few books, uh, some heavier books, and that really helped um, to decrease some of the bulk that was kind of starting to happen. So that would be another suggestion. Actually, I'm going to do that uh, again now um, when I'm done here. So. Um, yeah, we're just going to do glue on the edges and then I'm going to close the book or at least close it to a point where, you know, you've got a good chunk of book block going on. Um, and that is the trick to keeping your pages from getting super warped and kind of crazy. So I'm just going to keep, yeah, see here you can see it's kind of picking up right there. I'm, as I'm doing this, I'm going to be rubbing and correct, you know, massaging these pages down as I go every single time. Um, I might even do this, you know, so it's still a little bit pliable for a minute or two, at least the art glitter, glitter glue. If you're using a different kind of glue that's got a longer drying time, then, um, you might, you'll have more time to play with the pages like that. But, um, yeah, so, okay, so this is a side pocket, so we're only going to put glue at the top and the bottom, obviously not there, and I'm not ever going to put any in the spine. Uh, the reason for that is I found that it bulks up your spine, and it will cause gator mouth, and I don't want that to happen, so... So, this is the process. I think I'll, um finish doing this. I don't know. Honestly, it won't take very long. I'll finish doing this and come back with you uh, once I'm all finished. And then let's get started on decorating a little bit. Okay. Oh, well, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do this, this page with you too. So this one is a double, whoops, double pocket here. So I'm going to start with this page, this, this, this pocket here and again just the top and bottom needs uh, glue you don't have to be super perfect on that um, and close the book and seal it in glue it shut <laughs> it, it does take a little longer than normal kind of um, gluing would take but I think it's worth it in the end. This this type of book is so so much fun to create. Um, it's like uh, I don't know. It's it's obviously a junk journal, but in kind of a different kind of a way. And whoops, um, I just I've always had a lot of fun creating these kinds. So all right, this time I kept my hand on the page that I was gluing, and I just closed the book kind of most of the way. Uh, you can do it that way too. That works. Um, most, most important is just to make sure A, your pockets are glued down and B, when you open the book, your page can lay flat 
um, and it's not all kinds of wonky. So, all right, so let's do this one next. Close my book. Glue it. And there we have that one. Okay, so I'll go ahead and finish the rest of these and I'll meet you back when I'm all done with that. Okay? Okay, so that is all done now. Um, I didn't have to do anything to these pages. There are one or two pages. This one is one of them where it's, oh, yep. And I need a little bit more glue here. I can tell. So at this point, yes, I'm going to come back and just kind of do a little bit of surgery if I need to do some. <laughs> um, but there are a couple pages like this one where it's fine, really. It's not bad. Um, but it is kind of doing that weird pucker thing down here. It's not really closing completely. It will. I can make it do it, but it's probably because it's still wet, and that's probably why the edge of that one didn't fully seal. So at this point, I'm going to kind of go back through, lay all the pages down, be a little bit firm with it, um, and fix any problems that there might be. So here, yeah, we've got another little little issue with it kind of wanting to pick up down here but it's really not that big of a deal and once we add more things into these pockets i really don't think it's gonna be note that noticeable um because we'll have a lot of bulk happening anyway so um yeah so everything is actually doing pretty good um, I, to be honest with you, haven't had an altered book yet that's like this that doesn't have that kind of a thing happening here and there. Um, so, and, you know, these are handmade things. They're not meant to be absolutely perfect. I'm not a machine. Um, a machine did not create this, you know. So, um, got to give yourself a little bit of grace when you're making something like this. Um, you're not a manufacturing plant, so <laughs> you can't really expect things to be 100% perfect every single time. Um, even though we are kind of perfectionists in a little bit of a way, I know I am anyway, maybe not you, but I definitely am. So, uh, it feels like the pages at the back are better. So maybe a learning point for me would have been at the front, instead of closing it this way, maybe what I should have done is gotten to the middle and then come back from the front and um, glued it and then closed it this way instead. Maybe that's maybe that's the secret, guys. Um, and maybe next time I do this, I'll remember that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so it's looking pretty good. I'm actually pretty darn excited about this journal. I think it's going to turn out pretty cool. It's already pretty cool. I don't really need to do too much to it at this point um, beyond the few ideas that I have right now. So, okay. So yeah, and we're holding, holding strong. If I need to add some more glue, I will definitely do that. Um, and then the other thing I'm always kind of trying to keep an eye on is I don't want my front, my front cover to be like this. I don't know. There, you, maybe you can see that better. So I've kind of been, I guess, massaging and working with the book every time I close it completely. I just kind of move it around a little bit, make sure it's in the position that I want it to be in. And I know eventually, of course, when we add more, you know, tags and things to tuck into the pockets, it's going to do that a little bit anyway. But as much as I can keep that from happening right now, I'm going to try and do that. So, okay, what's next? Well, uh, let me just leave it open on a pretty page. <laughs> So we obviously have this. I'm going to cut that apart and turn it into a cut apart sheet. Um, I have all of these from the tops of the papers and, um, and then 
some others that were kind of really skinny from the leftovers of the actual papers. So these are ready to be used um, to decorate with. And so I'll do that on my own time, cut that apart. You don't need to sit here and watch me do that. Um, I've also got two other piles over here. Uh, they started out as this was the bigger pieces pile and then this was the smaller pieces pile. Um, so we've got a couple <laughs> tuck spots that are ready to go here. Um, but I figured I can use these to turn into tags and like journaling cards and things of that nature. Um, so, so that's, that's what I've got kind of ready to go. I thought also to keep in this, um, I guess monochrome kind of a look, uh, the Tim Holtz hap the Tim Holtz people were would be kind of perfect um, to work with. So, so yeah, and like in things like this, I can turn this into a journaling card as well. Some of them are bigger than others, so um, there's kind of a lot to work with yet and um, use. I don't like to make a lot of scraps if I don't need to, <laughs> so. I'm going to try and use up as much of this as I possibly can. Um, and then of course we have this washi tape, why not go ahead and use it? Um, so I'll pull that into it, but I don't know that I really want to add too much more than that. Maybe some, maybe some textile here and there, some sari silk or fabric scraps or something like that. Um, but that's what I'm going to use. So. I'm going to go collect my Tim Holtz people and maybe a bit of fabric here and there and I'll come back and we can go ahead and get started. Oh, and yeah, I'm going to I'm going to cut this apart and then and then we can get started. So, all right, I'll be back in just all a right. second. So, I have collected some things. I don't know how much of it I'm going to use, um, but I figure it's here and it's handy and if I don't use it that's fine too. Um, I did take that uh, sheet of scrapbook paper and basically made a bunch of um, ephemera from the pictures on it and so I'll use those throughout um, as we decorate. I've got Tim Holtz people of various kinds, <laughs> old photographs, some older old photographs. I feel like more of these are holiday so so I don't know how many of these I will use and then these are um, some of the older film strip ones so they're also kind of chunky um, <laughs> which uh, is gonna be a little bit maybe of a problem in this journal uh, because I'll show you in just a second and then I have these that I literally have never used and I thought maybe uh, one or two or so of these might be kind of nice, like on the front page here or something. So I brought those in as well. Um, I also have lots of bits and pieces from, uh, you know, cutting all the papers down. So I've got all these really awesome strips. I'm going to pull this out over here. And then um, obviously a lot of leftover paper scraps from all of what I've done. So uh, let me kind of walk you through what I've done since we, since I just <laughs> cut the video really. Um, I've gone in and made journaling cards for quite a few of these pages. Uh, so I just used a scrapbook paper. Is that upside down? No, that's right. Scrapbook paper and then backed it with various um, kinds of tea dyed papers and or um, packing paper, craft paper. Uh, this happens to be a uh, coffee dyed, or no, this is tea dyed uh, tracing paper. So it's super thin. Um, looks really awesome. That was one concern. Um, the more, the more I add in this journal, the bulkier it's kind of getting. And I knew that was going to happen. It's already, if I just let it sit, it kind of is going to sit like that right now. Whereas before I did that, it's it was more like more like this, which obviously I can do um, if I push it together. But uh, yeah, um, I don't know that I'm gonna add 
journaling cards to every single page and I don't know that I'm going to decorate every single page or journaling card. Um, uh, this page we do need to fix with some washi tape. Um, so let's see. Oh, I like those. Let's do those. Uh, since we're on this page, let's just go ahead and do that. Um, so yeah, uh, other, yeah, I also pulled this washi tape out. So I don't really know where to start <laughs> as far as, um, where to start decorating. Um, I don't really feel like I want to start in the middle or on the, in the beginning. So sometimes... It's just easier to start in the middle, uh, like I say. My gosh, I cannot find my words today. <laughs> I can't, there's, no, there's nothing's coming to me right now. Um, but here, okay, so let's go ahead and get some washi tape right in there and kind of cover up that little boo-boo. And let's do some more here. I didn't know that I had used this yet, and apparently I have. It's been sitting a while. You can see it's kind of not wanting to separate. Um, but, all right. So I apologize for the kind of long time in between videos um, on this journal. Um, the last week or so just has kind of gotten away from me. Uh, between just the crazy weather, we've been in the sub-zero temperatures here. Crazy weather and just, you know, life as it always seems to happen. Um, kind of took over a little bit. Um, but, okay. I'm being a little too particular. Oh, I need to decorate this page. So, uh, yeah, so... How do I want to decorate this page? I have some of this, but I don't have any of these papers. I don't know where this was. If I maybe used some of these papers before, um, or if these are from different uh, paper pads um, that they had, but they're really cool. Um, so I don't really know how I want to handle this here. Maybe I'll come back to this one. <laughs> I don't, I feel like I need to start with something a little easier. <laughs> okay. Well, I mentioned that maybe I would put one of these uh, photo frames in here throughout the, the journal. So let's just find a spot uh, for one of those. Oh, well, these are awfully thick. Boy, maybe we won't use these. My goodness. No, I think I better not. Not for this one. Plus, these are really cool at the back. And I would hate to cover and not show that. So, okay. Let's not use these for this particular journal. I'll put those to the side and put those away. Um, wherever that would be. I don't know. <laughs> um, so, I do love these. These are really cool. Uh, I think... I'm probably going to want to use several of these throughout the journal if I can. Like, this one might be kind of perfect, actually, as, like, a, a pocket. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. Let's just put these there. And then these, I don't know that I want to, um... I'm not... I don't want to... Uh, edge these with the the ink because um, they're supposed to be like a photograph so I don't want to edge them okay let's just stick this down start off with something a little easy peasy um let's see I'm also looking over here I've got some of these still kind of left over but none for this particular side of the page 
I was thinking maybe there, but maybe not. <laughs> um, so that's okay. Um, so let's see, we could stick something like that in there or what else? I've got so many of these cutoffs to use as a journaling card. That's pretty. I like that. That's kind of cool. Maybe that up there. Basically, I'm just trying to use up these really awesome journaling cards um, and at the same time give more writing space. So, uh, I do like this color. It's not the right orientation though, but it doesn't really matter. Um, the problem with having these though is it's just going to make more and more bulk, but um, that's all right. So I'm going to go ahead and just stick these in here and then later, because it's really boring, I'll show you a couple, um, maybe one or two, um, where I back it, but honestly it's really boring. So I don't want to bore you to death on that. Um, but let's see what we can do with this here. I like this. The idea of this clock maybe. Um, oh, and the butterfly might be nice. It is very monochromatic though. That, that would be a cool one in the upper corner of a page. Um, you know, I don't want to cover that up, really, but maybe like this instead. Okay, let's see what we can figure out here. So let's just turn this into a little tuck spot. Um, as you saw already on my journaling cards that I've created, I did do some sewing around those um, edges. So I think I want to continue that thought uh, with these little bits and pieces too. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and decorate this and get it glued together, but probably not. Uh, oh boy, that got real <laughs> grungy real fast. Oops. <laughs> uh, probably not glue the whole thing down just yet. I want to probably sew. Maybe do some messy stitching or something. Okay. So. Obviously I want to keep the word moments. Um, this would be up. My brain is a little bit scrambled at the moment. Uh. I don't know why. Um, preparing all these journaling cards, I was doing that, you know, on my own time. And uh, was watching a movie. I was watching Fried Green Tomatoes. And it's just one of my favorite movies of all time. If you haven't seen it, it's such an amazing movie. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, it's just really a good one. Uh, <laughs> And I'm almost at the end, and it's just really sad. So, uh, just try not to think about that right now, you know. <laughs> so, okay. Well, I think this needs some messy stitching. So, I'm going to go ahead and, well, let's just back these two while I'm thinking about it. Um, and then I'll stitch all of these at the same time. So, let's see. I've got some of these bits and pieces left over that were a little bit too small for some of the other pieces. Oh, this one will work perfect. Okay, so or maybe on this one. This one, maybe on this one. So we'll use that for this. And then this one's interesting. My dog got a hold of this paper. <laughs> My puppy dog. She gets a little bit bored sometimes when she's left home by herself. She's 
not left home by herself very often and she's a little bit spoiled uh, about that and um, this is some that's just some stationery from the 80s that I didn't love the pattern of but I tea dyed it so I can use that uh, and she finds herself into a little bit of trouble um, but you know in the grand scheme of things it's not the, th the worst thing in the world that she chews up paper. Oh, I was going to try and make a bit of that, and I just made it worse. Okay, well, I'm going to edge that. Oh, I just wrote on this. Oh, my goodness. Well, we'll just have to decorate that with something, because I've just messed it all up. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, something gets left on the table and is a little too close to the edge which this was it was left on the dining table she found it and decided it needed to die <laughs> so. uh, thankfully she didn't ruin too much of it okay I'm just using some this is some scrapbook paper it's some six by eight by eight scrapbook paper um, it's fairly thin that I had tea dyed and I just don't see myself using that type, type of matte paper in a journal so I just decided to use it as uh, the backing for journaling cards like this so okay so this is basically what I've did nothing fancy and then um, I tear the paper away with a uh, ruler and when you're doing that and your glue is still wet make sure that you're tearing up away from the edge of uh, where you just glued so I'm putting my ruler on top of the piece that is staying and I'm not doing it like this you can easily do this but it's a whole lot easier if you do it this way where the back side you're going to see um, some fraying and stuff and my experience is when that happens it pulls away the tea dyed paper and you see the back side of the white paper so I always make sure and rip in this direction uh, make sure and put some pressure down the whole way down your ruler um, that way It'll be nice and consistently torn. These little bits are a little tricky sometimes. Yep, because they do that. But if it's not perfect, that's okay. Um, that's why we're making junk journals. So here's that one. And then let me go ahead and do this one. So again, I'm putting my ruler on top of my journaling card and not the other way around. I'm going to just rip that off. Actually, that's kind of a cool piece of paper right there. Um, these other sides are going to be a little bit fiddly, but let's see how well I can do here. I'm not one for cutting. I know a lot of people do that. It's just not... I would rather rip or tear away, but I might cut this edge. This, yeah, this one's not going <laughs> to... That one's not going to go well not playing nice but this one's big enough this paper is old and brittle a little bit too so um, that's also why it's being a little bit okay so so see how that happened I would rather have it happen like this um, than have it go underneath the line of the journaling card and show the white space um, just because then I will have to work harder to um, put my ink around um, and distress on the white space. <laughs> it's just harder to hide. So, okay. I have scissors here somewhere. We'll just go ahead and cut. All right. I don't love those clean edges, but once in a while, it's not a bad thing. Okay, so then at this point, then, I just took my ink pad, and I just did this on both sides. 
around both of them. Um, front and back. And then, once that's done, I'll take it to the sewing machine and do a stitch around the perimeter. Probably just one stitch, one way. Uh, some of them I did two times around, but this one I think I'll just do once. These are a little bit smaller, so I'm going to give you as much writing space as possible. And the great thing about these kind of journaling cards is you could put your own photo right on top of there um, and then, you know, write about it or a piece of ephemera or whatever it is that you're going to use this journal for. Okay. So, there's that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sew around these two, do a little bit of messy stitching on this, and I'll be right back. All right, so here we have those two, just simply uh, sewed around the edges, nothing fancy. So we'll go ahead and stick those in, and we got some more journaling space there. I love the colors. I love the little bit of hint of green. Um, and then I decided not to do messy stitching, but I just did two straight stitches around the edge. So we'll go ahead and add our glue and get that stuck down. And then I'm actually not, well, I guess I could put something um, in that pocket. Let's make sure it's straight. Okay. I could put something in that pocket, I suppose. Um, I don't know why, but something is wanting, I feel like I want to... Add some washi tape like over here. Um, let's see what that might look like. Have I used this one yet? No, I have not. Um, so our puppy is now a year old. <laughs> she turned a year old um, about a week ago. Yeah, we didn't do anything special, <laughs> but um, we are ready for her to get spayed. She has an appointment on the 1st of February, and we are excited for that because she is driving us crazy. <laughs> She's got so much energy, and we haven't really been able to take her to the dog park or doggy daycare um, and she was really used to that and we have a big backyard, um, but with all this crazy weather, it's been so hard to get out there, um, uh, like we want and really give her some exercise. Um, we've been doing walks and stuff obviously, but sometimes that's hard in the weather too. Um, so yeah, so we're ready for her to get back with her puppy friends <laughs> and have some fun so all right well i like that um i think uh just for right now i might just stick this up in there and that way at least you know it's a spot for writing maybe that'll stay there forever we'll see uh but there we go uh you know i also pulled out i don't remember if i flashed this last time i have these letters and numbers alphabet and numbers I might throw these in once in a while, too. I think that would be a nice little contrast with the, the black. Okay, here is this page. Uh, this is the one that I intended to turn this into a pocket and then wasn't thinking. And instead, I glued the whole thing down. <laughs> so, so I was thinking maybe like a belly band kind of situation would be good. Um, I don't know what I'll use. Maybe... I do like this ruler. Maybe that right there. Yeah, actually, I kind of, I do like that. Let's do that. Um, right there. Okay, and then go ahead and I don't think this is going to be strong enough, so I'm going to pair it up with probably this one, but I'm going to go ahead and ink around that first. Uh, 
Um, so how have all you guys been doing, uh, the last two weeks? It's been two weeks, my goodness. There's been a lot going on with the weather. Um, I know that, I can't remember off the top of my head where it was, but, uh, one of our states got really hit with an ice storm real bad, and, um, just... <laughs> It was real hard um and they're just not you know used to that let's see what am i doing i want to i want to put it on this side which would be there okay i'm just gonna add a little bit of glue here match that up best I can. Try not to glue it to the book. <laughs> hey, success. All right. <laughs> um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. And I've just, we watch TikTok videos and, you know, YouTube videos and things. And it's been really entertaining, I hate to say, but it's been entertaining watching, um, some of that, <laughs> happening um, people slipping around and I feel horrible I've been in that situation and it's just the worst you can't really do anything um can't go anywhere really <laughs> um but we we had weather so bad and we just got dumped on with the snow um we had so much snow and um you know, and then the high winds, which makes it drift and blizzard-like conditions. Uh, it's just been kind of a frustration. Okay, let me find something to cover this with. Um, whoops, my sweater. Put that over here. So we could do maybe something like that. Hmm. It'd probably be better if they were closer together rather than so far apart. We've got two flowers. Maybe we do two flowers. That's kind of cool. Actually, I kind of I kind of really like that. All right. Well, here we go carefully <laughs> glue this um my work for a whole week said hey if you're able to work from home please do that because we'd rather have you be safe um so i worked from home for one of those weeks the week before last and i'll be honest i really enjoyed it <laughs> i really prefer working from home um then going into the office, um, going into the office is good. I'm not going to say that it's not a good thing. Uh, I need, I need both. I think, um, a little bit more work from home than work in the office. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see, maybe let's not put glue all the way on the edges. And just focus it on the in middle. Um, and so uh, it was really helpful, actually, to work from home. During that week, I got so much done. I didn't have people bothering me as much. I got a little healthier with my food. Just everything. Um, that is one thing. People always ask me, would you rather work from, what would your ideal schedule be working from home or working at um, the office? And I always kind of say, I would prefer to be able to choose one or two days a week in the office and then the rest of the days at home. Probably more often I would choose just one day at the office every week, <laughs> um, but Boy, that's kind of cool, actually. I really like that. Um, but yeah, uh, so it's always kind of nice when we get that option. 
Okay, so smile, family. And I'm just doing it a little bit off center because I don't want to cover up what that says. But this will be enough to, let's say we wanted to put this one in there. You just slide some piece of paper under there and you've got yourself some journaling. So um, I will find a piece of paper later and do that. I'm not going to use that piece because it's got blue on the other side. And then I'm just going to leave this one empty so that whoever um, gets this journal, they can add their own um, uh, ephemera or a photo or what have you. Same with this one. I'm not going to decorate. I'm not going to decorate this either. This one we already looked at. Um, so let's move to this. Okay, so we're back to this one. All right, well, let's see. What do I want to do? Um, and I can't use really one of these. I guess I could, I guess I could use this. Well, that's an idea. Okay. Let's think about that for a minute. Um, I'm going to definitely use that. And maybe I'll just cover up over here with a bit of paper scrap. And that way we'll have another pocket then for some more journaling space. Okay. And actually, I may not decorate tons and tons with these little bits and pieces. Probably what I'll do is use most, or use what I want to use, and then just include them with the journal. And then whoever gets this journal, they can add here and there as they so choose. That's a little bit too much. Um, that's a little bit, well. I guess you could put that there. It's going to be kind of in the way. Let's see. I want something that's just going to kind of disappear in the background. This would. We could do that. Let's do that. Perfect. I like the color too. It's not going to disappear, but at least it'll be really pretty, really nice looking. Um, so, okay, let me mark this and just make it the same width. Try and get it as straight as I can. And we'll just ink around that also. Yep. Got a little bit heavy handed there, but you know, that's why I like to do that this way. Um, it just, I like the irregularities. It makes it, I feel like a little more genuine looking, <laughs> authentic looking. Um, I said I was going to pull in some fabrics and things. I haven't pulled those together yet. I think I might come back and do that later. Wow. I got a lot of glue there. That's kind of crazy with the glue. <laughs> um, did not mean to do that, but that's okay. Okay, I need to make sure this edge is more lined up than the other edge because I can cover that one. All right, and then, that's kind of a shame to cover all that, but I think I will. No, I'll, mm, I'll do it there. Okay, so we need to go here and there. Um. I forgot what I was saying. My brain is everywhere. <laughs> uh, okay, let me focus here. Cover up that little mishap. There we go. Okay, oh, the fabric. Um, I think I'll come back and add, you know, bits and pieces of fabric on these journaling cards as like pull tabs maybe things like that. Um, I'll come back and add, you know, maybe more journaling cards here and there, like so. Um, but I don't want to fill this up too terribly much because, you know, 
this is going to be somebody else's work and decoration too. Um, so I just kind of want to get it started and just let you kind of take it from there. Boy, these are really cool, but I'm finding right now that it is a problem. It's kind of blending in sometimes um, because it's the same background color of paper. Uh, but I can work with that. Maybe we want that. I like that. Or a telephone. Maybe the telephone. Okay, so I have in my mind these guys here. Let's pull out this one. And because this is kind of the perfect spot for, you know, something like this. Um, and really, it doesn't matter which one. Oh, she's grumpy. <laughs> um, this one's kind of perfect, actually. This one's got color in it, and I don't want color. I love these. They're so good. Oh. Oh, he's a cutie. Okay. These are really good. I like this one too. Um, it's so funny. You look at old photos like this and you see glimpses of your family you know here and there um they're all looking that way i don't i don't really like that i haven't had a little too much color too nope yeah i think i like the one that i got the very first one is usually the one that the one that you use right um so let's go ahead and see where we put this no, that's not going to work. Mm -mm. I would need to put that on the back of something. So let's go ahead and do kind of a background with some washi just so that they'll kind of pop a little bit better. Um, but yeah, work has been pretty busy. Uh, January is always, I don't know, the last couple years seems like it's kind of rough with, um, got to do everything. Um, and it's harder, I think, too, because you come back from a nice long vacation from Christmas and then now you're just kind of thrust into this, uh, different pace. <laughs> <laughs> that you're not used to anymore and uh, it's just been a lot but but that's okay oh this is pretty I like this just adding my glue so that it doesn't go anywhere this is one thing about washi tape it will if you don't glue it down um, eventually kind of come up. I don't like this sharp. There we go. Okay. Covering a lot of that, but that's okay. Um, let's see. I think... I didn't use that one. I used this one. I used that one. Okay. I just want to kind of do a little bit of, I guess, collaging with the washi tape a little bit. That music is so strong um, that it's kind of detracting in a way um, so let's see we'll add a little bit towards the bottom also put it on that side
And then let's add some of this. Okay, I'm gonna have to add more. Let's see, I need a wider one. Whoops. So I'm kind of getting excited for Valentine's Day. I'm not a big Valentine's um, celebrator, but you know, it is nice to have a Valentine. <laughs> can't say I've said that much in the last 10 years. Um, so it's very nice. And I'm wearing a nice Valentine's Day sweater. I got little hearts everywhere. <laughs> um, just kind of in the mood for that. Um, you know, love is in the air and everything's good. And um, just very happy. So it's kind of fun. <laughs> um, but... Okay, let's see. What do we got going on here? I think I kind of like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and glue my photo down. And then I'm thinking I might do a little bit of washi over the top, too. Or some ephemera or something. That's kind of cool. Um, let's see. What do we have for ephemera? We've got something like that. It's a little too big. That's weird. I don't want to stick something on top of her head. <laughs> um, no, I don't want that either. Let's see. What about... Let's do that. Go ahead and ink around those. So they will stick out just a little bit stand out from the crowd. Okay. Go ahead and glue these down. just a little bit and then we'll have this one okay then I think I want to do some of this I'm just going to cut off a length of this Alrighty, and then let's see. I'm thinking this can go kind of like there. So, to the equal sign. And then the trick is oh, this doesn't. This isn't sticky though. Oh, okay, there it is. I was like, it's not sticky, but I feel like there should be a backing on that. I wasn't feeling it. I do add some glue to this because, again, it's very sturdy, but you just never know. And I want to make sure nothing falls apart. Very cool. Um, except for I just covered up the 1940-something, but that's okay. All right, so there's that page. <laughs> I like it. That's cool. 
Um, I will put a piece of paper or something in here to add to that. Um, we've done a little bit on this page, but maybe we can add something more. Let's see. That would be kind of weird. Just sticking out from the side there. Could do a butterfly. That might be kind of cool. Darker butterfly, maybe. Um... Well, that's very fitting for the page, postage. Keep this out too. No, I don't want that. Okay, I'm going to ink around this. You can hear my puppy moving around upstairs. It's probably time for me to be done. Soon. I'm also hungry and it's probably around 1 30 um, so maybe let's do this page and one more and then this one I will call done at that point okay so I want to I want to stick I could see that the washi was kind of coming up there so I kind of want to stick something there um, Mm, I like I like that in that spot a little bit better. Woo! Okay. And then this can come down like so. Um Um, like that. And let's see. I'm just looking at some of this stuff here. Directions for making pattern. That's kind of cool. That's a lot of words. That's a lot of letters. I don't know if I like that. But I could put it on that side. It's also kind of a lot of stuff in the middle of the spine, which I don't like doing either. But I like the idea of it, and it's kind of interesting, so I think I'm going to go with that. really intend for this to kind of turn into sort of a family album of sorts but with these Tim Holtz dolls it's kind of maybe looking like it might lend itself to that idea that's kind of cool I like that um so it's funny how you kind of have an idea about a journal when you start it and then sometimes midway through it kind of takes on a life of its own and becomes something else which is fun. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay. Uh, I feel like it needs something more. What do we got here? Those guys are kind of big. I need a. I need a man or somebody. Maybe him. <laughs> Maybe him. <laughs> He's cute. Uh, not her. She doesn't feel right for that page. Well, maybe this guy. Maybe he's traveling. I 
like him. Uh, yeah. Let's go with him. Cool. Um, all right. I feel like, do we need a little bit of femininity on this page? No, not that much. Uh, that's a little bit much. A butterfly? No. Still a little bit much. I kind of like that. Flower? Nope, I don't like that. Nope. Hmm. I like that, but we've already used... Oh, look at this. It's a little bud, a peony bud. Um, We've already used some... I think I liked this one best. Uh, we've already used some of those flowers. Um, and so I'll keep more of them for later in the journal. Just I don't like to be too heavy handed all in one spot with the same sort of things. So I'm not going to ink around this one. I think it's actually going to pop a little better if I don't. Plus it'll be messy if I try and do that. So just go with it the way that it is. Whoop. All right. I liked it going that direction. Like so. Okay. Well, there's that spread. <laughs> Very cool. And I like this polka dot. It's really fun. Um, that's back to like that. So, okay, I don't know that I'm going to do anything with this spread. We've already got some journaling cards in there. So, I think this one's good, and there's a lot of good writing space. Okay, this is the next one that I need to really mess with. Um, we've got these two, which would be really good for covering up some of this uh, stripiness, which I don't love. Um, so that would look good. The first one looks better. So it happens to be the perfect size. My gosh, I couldn't have done that better if I had tried. All right, I'm going to ink around this and that will leave the other page. Wow, that was really heavy. It's all right. Um, that's going to leave the other page for me to do a little bit of decoration on, and then I think we'll be done after that. So, let's do this. Okay, I got to think about this. So, I don't want glue except for here and there. So, put my hand in the place where I don't want it. And I know from experience not to put glue there <laughs> because it's going to, it makes it hard um, to uh, put papers in if you do it that way. Okay, try and match this here before my glue dries. Alrighty. I guess I could have put glue there, but that's okay. It's it'll be fine. It'll it'll sit just fine. All right, so there's that page done. Let's maybe cover up some more of this with photograph. Oh, these are fun. Those two are perfect. We could do two pockets there. 
I like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Try to get that centered on the page and straight. <laughs> Hopefully my background paper was straight <laughs> and centered. <laughs> And then we'll put this so I haven't done any tea dyeing of paper in quite some time you guys since before I moved that's been over a year I because I did a big huge batch or two um, before I didn't really feel the need to do much at all any since <laughs> um so uh you know what i could do i could do some washi tape there but then this wouldn't be open maybe i better maybe i better not i need to find a let's just slip this paper in here yeah i think this needs to be open otherwise it'll be hard to get your paper in and out um but I'm getting down to kind of the nitty gritty <laughs> of, <laughs> of what I've got left. And um, let's just do a quick check. Oh, you can definitely see which half is more full than the other half. It's going to be a gator mouth, you guys. Um, so, yeah, I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do this. In my last house, it was just me. And I didn't mind if I took up the entire kitchen for a day or two. But I don't think I will be able to get away with that so easily um, because we do cook so much and just um, kind of need that space. So um, with animals and everything else, it's just kind of a challenge. Um, but yeah, I got to figure out how I'm going to uh, go about getting some more paper dyed um, because, yeah, I need some more de dyed paper. Um, Let's see, should we do a chandelier? Could, that's kind of cool. Or a bigger chandelier. I don't know, I feel like I like the smaller, skinnier one. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh yeah, I like that. Now the other question is, do I ink around it or not? I don't think I will because it's going to be super messy. But I think I do want to add some washi tape. Kind of continue this stripey theme. And we haven't really used much of this, but I do like this one. really like this one so let's add a little bit of this there I 
Okay. Put some glue on this and figure out where I want to stick it. I didn't really want to cover up the word Paris there, but I don't think I'm going to have much choice, which is fine. Really, that washi is just more for more texture and color than anything else, but... Okay, like so. I've got this kind of sticking out at me over here. Um, I don't know if I really want it on this page necessarily, but I do want to use it at some point. I think it would be kind of cool to have. Yeah, with the ups and downs, I don't really want to go sideways, I don't think so. Um, let's keep with that. And then I need to find... Sorry, my... <laughs> Allergies just went a little nuts on me there for a second. Um, find some journaling cards. This is perfect to stick in here. Is this one also perfect? Maybe it is. And so I'll add like little tabs and things on those just to kind of decorate them a little bit more. Um, but I love it when you can find the perfect size of something, actually. This one might be a little small, but I like the floral. Yeah, I like the floral on that one. Okay. Yep, I'm good with that. So, there we have it, guys. Um, uh, let's see. I need to find a piece of paper. To stick in there. Uh, this one's a little bit plain. So how about... What do I even have? <laughs> oh, here. I've got some pieces here. Something like that. And something like that. So, alright guys. Hope you enjoyed coming along with me as I continue to work on this journal. Uh, we've got some fun ahead. Uh, I may or may not add journaling cards in these pages. We'll see. I want to leave some open for you to add your own things to. Um, but yeah continue to uh, do some decorating in the next video. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye.